What's up everyone? Toy Insanity here. I collected so you don't have to. And I got these big old Jurassic Clash articulated action figures, Beast Taming, Squad, Dino Commander, Figure Creature, and Accessory, Big Bad Multi-Packs. Now originally, these came out January at Walmart. And the funny thing is, back then, they weren't called Jurassic Clash. They were called Primal Clash. And I got a theory on that. Came out in January at Walmart. It is now October or November or December. I don't even know. I know it ain't January or February. Okay, anyway, there's three. Three of these bad boys. Look, look at this guy. You get a Triceratops, a Leopleridune, Leopleridon, and a Mammoth. Very cool. Very awesome. They were called Primal Clash. They're now called Jurassic Clash. And I think there's one of two things. One, Walmart just wanted a distinct name. It is kind of odd that Leonard would even have allowed that. But, they, you know, they're not even in Walmarts anymore. This was like a very early thing. They were called Primal Clash. My other theory is there's a TV show that just dropped, and it's called Primal. It's a, it's a cartoon where it's not, you know, futuristic dudes riding dinosaurs, but it is cavemen on mammoths and dinosaurs and such. It's called Primal. It's by the creator of Dexter's Laboratory, Samurai Jack. He was involved with the Hotel Transylvania movies. So it should be a good series it's on Adult Swim. Check it out. Primal. But these are not Primal. In fact, they're not even Primal Clash anymore. It was the exact figures back then. I got the smaller ones. I'll put a link in the insanity box below. It was called Primal Clash, now it's called Jurassic Clash. Copies the same, figures the same. Super advanced technology. Let humanity bring back and live among dinosaurs and megafauna. With dino control technology, machines, beasts, and humans working together, we're able to bring pollution down to almost zero. Oxygen levels raised flora and fauna, grew in size, and finally a peaceful and self-sustained world was achieved. All thanks to the supercomputer known as the evolution. The very apex of human technology technological achievement until the singularity known as the cybergeddon happened all right we're not even done sentient evolution decimated humanity and enslaved all remaining living creatures telepathically controlling dinosaurs and humans alike creating the final impact a military unit specialized in hunting down humans and feral dinosaurs for total world domination a small group of raiders escaped, living on the run in a new world between feral prehistoric wilderness and technological doom. But their surviving humans are strong and their willpower is iron. Alongside their tame dinosaur companions and incredible technology, they will retaliate and launch the ultimate Jurassic Clash. Boom! Jurassic Clash, big three beasts. That was a mouthful. I feel like that's where the Jurassic World series is heading. Did you see the last one? Spoiler alert. The dinos get loose. Alright. So maybe like a century from now. Or I, I guess I should say... Five movies from now... We'll be riding dinos. That's a cool mammoth. And you get a little figure to boost some weaponry. Not too bad. The highlight of these might be the price. Guys, these are only $15. I found them at a local grocery store. $15. No longer at Walmart. Or maybe Walmart is going to restock for Christmas. 
Who knows about that place? Look at this guy on a Triceratops. This is what I'm saying. Jurassic World 9? Maybe Jurassic World 6? We might be taming dinos and riding them. I don't know about all that cybergeddon evolution and primal impact stuff. But it was, there is some AI in this series. You know what I'm saying? That, that, that little uh, clone girl is the one that released the dinosaurs. Maybe I should put these in my Jurassic Park playlist. $15 per pack. <laughs> Lear Pluridon. i tell you what else is cool concerning these Jurassic Class Primal Class figures. You could put your other action figures on there. Wink, wink. That might be a really cool idea. I wonder if anybody's done that before. But that's what's up, Dino Commander dudes on their dinos and megafauna, such as this mammoth. My favorite is the mammoth. This is a heavy fig. Second favorite is Triceratops. Coming in last is this very lightweight. Leo Pluridon. Homie's about to fall off. You would think they would have given the one with the weakest plastic as far as the megafauna. You, you'd think he'd have the extra weapons. Kind of to offset. I think this is going to be the best seller. What kid doesn't want to ride a Triceratops in the battle? Anyway, that's all we're going to do. That's what we're doing today. Thumbs up the video. Thank you. Man, I do appreciate that so much. Kind of just validates the reality of my surroundings, the reality of my existence as a YouTube sensation. Just seeing those blue thumbs up. Yash! Cybergeddon Toy Apocalypse 2000 XX. Later.